Dear brothers and sisters, we are again assembled in uh, Vision Venue, and uh, we are here to reflect on certain dogmatic teachings of the church. And um, so many people are weary in, asking or a certain way confused, and that makes some people leave the Catholic Church. And here I am to do my little correction and also teaching about it. So my name is Reverend Father, Associate Professor Paul Martin Obinogai, Father Okunerere, the Spiritual Director of Okunerere and Adoration Ministry. Thank you very much. Yeah. My name is Honorable Okechuku Ezunu. Thank you. I remain myself, Mr. Ogai Joseph Chukwode. Father, thank you very much for this opportunity once more for us to reflect on two or three items. Uh, we know that uh, Roman Catholic is celebrating the Assumption of Page Mary today, being 15th of August. Father, please, who is this woman called Page Mary? Yeah, your question is oceanic. Uh, if we are to answer who Mary is, in fact, we will not exhaust the answer for uh, almost in short, in eternity. Because the scripture says, if everything Jesus did were to be written down, even no, the world will not contain the books. So it's Mary. Because um, her role in the church was so timely and uh, divinely designed, and so it follows the rule. And uh, in our salvation, she has, she's really um, unfathomable in her role. So we can simply say who she is by going to Luke chapter 1, verse 43, 42 to 43. When Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, who am I that the mother of God should come to me? She is the first person to tell her she is the mother of God. So Mary is the mother of God. Believe it or not. Thank you very much. That's who she is. Thank you, Father. Um, but do you have anything to tell us about today's celebration, which is the assumption of the woman called Peter? Well, uh, today is called the Assumption of Blessed Virgin Mary. How did it come about? Uh, far back, the Didache, the teaching of the church apostles, it was said that um, then St. Thomas, being so uh, very doubtful a human being, uh, argued that Mary did not die after he returned from his mission in India. And um, he was told that Mary had died. He said, no, 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 I don't believe that. You know, he normally doubt. So he doubted that Jesus didn't rise. If it is so, let him appear again. I put my hand there, I put my hand, I put my hand up before I accepted. Jesus appeared and he agreed. And Jesus said, blessed are those who didn't see your head bleed. Again, he repeated it. When he was told that Mary was dead, he did what? He doubted it. He said, unless I see. This was the teaching anyway, unless I see. And then the tomb was, he was shown the tomb. He said, no, unless I see the, where it was, the corpse was. And when they opened the tomb, the teaching was that nothing was found there. And it was rose flower with flagrant uh, performance. So it was assumed. It was a simple English language, assume, assume, assuming, assumption derived from the Latin word azumere, azumere, meaning to pull to himself, to draw to himself. And who is it? It was believed that Jesus drew the body of his mother to himself into heaven. Okay. You understand? And um, this was dogmatized 
became the teaching of the church in, uh, by Pope Pius XII around 1950. So when he just made it a dogmatic teaching of the church. So, and so nobody could doubt this. So since then it will become the proper teaching of the church. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Prof. Thank you very much for this uh, uh, little explanation. Uh, this your uh, explanation will lead me to another question, Father. Please, you know this prayer called Hail Mary. Catholic Church is so much interested in saying that prayer, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary. Uh, is this Hail Mary biblical, or is it only the Catholic doctrine? Well. Without wasting time, I would want um, to read Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. Let us see what, what it is biblical. Do you understand? Okay. Right. Luke chapter 1, verse 26. In what the is? sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee named Nazareth. He had a message for a girl promised in marriage to a man named Joseph, who was a descendant of King David. The girl's name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. See, that is the beginning of Hail Mary. Hail Mary, the Lord is with you. Who said it? Angel Gabriel. And uh, let me tell you, it is not actually Angel Gabriel. It was God. How? If somebody did something good for you and you want to appreciate, maybe you say, take this pen and give to this man. Tell him that I'm appreciating what he did for me. Thank him for me. When you get to that spot, on handing over this article, you say thank you. Is it your thank you or the thank you of the person who sent it? The person who sent me that. Finish. So, Angel Gabriel didn't just come on his own. He came having been sent. So, I'll say, Hail Mary. Remember, I didn't say, he didn't, she, he didn't say, I say Hail Mary. He didn't say, I, I am saying Hail Mary. He just, Hail Mary. He just dropped it raw as it is, as God gave it to, to him. So, Hail Mary. Full of grace. The Lord is with him. That is the first part, part of the Hail Mary. So it is by by the call. You understand? So it's not just teaching us. It is, you want to read it, you see it. And again, uh, another second portion of it. Who am I that the mother of God should You see it. Blessed is the womb. Who said it? Elizabeth. The, Bible, the angel Gabriel said the first part. The second part was said by Elizabeth. Luke 1, 42 to 43. Okay. Blessed is the womb. Blessed the fruit of the womb. You are blessed among women. You understand? That second portion. Then what about the third portion of it? It was when there were so many teachings in the church uh, called heretics. This the heretics, you know, the of heretics. They thought that Mary is not mother of God and uh, all that nobody should believe and after all is a mother, is a woman, is a woman being and all that. How could she be a mother of God? And those teachings were, they were causing confusion in the church. Then, the first council held in Ephesus, you know, Ephesus was where she lived and died. The first council of the church, around 431 AD, held a meeting and stuck out that anybody else who says Mary is not mother of God and let them mass it, a curse placed on the person, and let them mass it. When church declares such word, <laughs> it's very terrific. It can lead to hell. And let them mass it. Whoever says that Mary is not mother of God. And from that moment, they said, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. We are sinners. Pray for us, sinners. You listen, what is the wrong in asking her to pray for us? 
when she prayed in Gali, in uh, wedding at Kenna. She's known as a powerful intercessor. She is the first charismatic. She is the first person to believe that the word of God will come to truth. If you look, Luke chapter 1, verse 5. Happy are those who believe that these words of God shall be fruitful. You understand? So she's uh, everything. It's everything. And uh, it is in, in the biblical. It's not just a fairy tale story. And God, first of all, said, Hail Mary. Who are you not to say Hail Mary? And the whole angel, mighty angel, go to Daniel chapter 10. You see the weight of this angel. That when he spoke, it was like ocean. And see, this same angel was the angel that visited Zechariah and dumbfied him. You see, made uh, Zechariah dumb <laughs> for doubting. So he has a powerful, and he said, He's a powerful angel. And then she, in his greatness, said, Hail Mary. Why are you there? Well, you are holding a challenge, Gabriel. Or are you greater than God who sent that message? I mean, let us be reasonable. Make common sense. Let us be reasonable. So I only stop so far because I don't want to take much time. Otherwise, if you leave me, I will continue, to, continue to navigate. <laughs> Infinitesimally. The problem. Thank, Thank you me. very much. Thank you very much. Um, your speech will also lead me to the next question. Yeah. Because I heard you saying that people should ask him for intercession. Uh, before now, I knew that uh, Catholics do call on Deji Mary for intercession. Then, more or less, Swan so can invariably call her a mediatrix. I mean the one that will intercede for we human beings and God. Uh, yeah, what do you have to say about that? It's not better going direct to the man, God, instead of going through Mary. I don't know whether you understand my question, yes. Father. Then we, I mean, people calling this woman for intercession to Jesus Christ, to God, than going directly to God. What Thank do you, you. Have to say? Well, in Latin word you say, per Mariam, per Jesum, per Mariam, ad Jesum, per Jesum, ad Deum. Prof. So Please explain, explain, explain. <laughs> through Maria to okay. Jesus, through Jesus to God. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah. So, there are certain things that will happen. You don't need explanation. You just need to see and understand. Okay. okay. Why? Just for a typical example, when the wine finished in Kenya, okay. the people, if they had gone to Jesus to ask for that, it wouldn't have been easy. Even Jesus was hiding because that's the first miracle. It is many that explodes the hidden power of Jesus Christ to the world for the world to see. Mary knew the word of her son, the power residing in the son, the ability of the son, the capacity of the son. You understand? And he knew that the son can take control of this confused condition and say, My son, their wine has finished. Who? Oh, Woman, what concerns us? We came as visitors. Don't expose me here. Mama, don't expose me here. The wine has finished. You don't have to talk much. She has finished. Intercessory power. And Jesus had no choice than to perform that miracle. Peri Maria and Yesu. See, he was hiding. Tell me, as he was hiding, those people came direct to him. Would they get it? You will just stand up and leave that spot. <laughs> God is it, my time is not yet. Yes. But Mary brought fast forward at her time. His time. You understand it? Wow. Uh -huh. So he had no choice than to break open and perform change to water into one through the intercessory of Mary. And from there we learn. Let us run to this woman. She can do something. And she has never failed. 
is a great intercessor. A great intercessor. Okay, let me quickly tell you why she's intercessor. When the church was in trouble about the various teachings around 12,000 AD, a lot of teachings took over the church and the church was weighing down. It was St. Dominic who went and prayed in the church of Buele and then as he was praying there for three days, fasting and praying, no food, no water, St. Dominic and Mary appeared. Three angels appeared with lights and then stood there. After they had appeared, they vanished. Mary was behind the full lights and gave the rosary to Dominic. Say, this is a weapon with which you will fight. And could you know, within five years of this, around 2013, the church revived. But by, before then, the, anything you preached was just as if water pouring on stones. But after the arrival of Rosary, taught by St. Dominic, the church, both the heretics, all of them combated. That's Mary comes in to intervene at moments of crisis. To them, this is what one you're going to use. 2013, joined by uh, the Montfort, and there was a great revival in the church. So there is no argument about the Mary's intercessory role. And if you go to Galatians chapter 4, verse 4, it was through him, through her, that God gave the Jesus Christ to the world. And it is written there, at the appointed time, Jesus came through a woman. And he did. Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. She's always everywhere in the Bible. At the appointed time, God gave his son to redeem the world through a human woman, human being called Mary. What are you telling me? All right. Let me yes, start with five case. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If, you, if we allow you, you keep on. Uh, yeah. Did you know? Better hold me back. Uh, I need to hold you back for that because right. you 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 are exposing our our knowledge. Yes. You are trying to tell us things we are lacking. Yeah. And uh, I believe the way I'm enjoying it, the followers are still enjoying it. Thank you, uh, Father. Please. It is as rule. We aren't these are like asking Moses to pray for us. Uh, Moses, please pray for us. And Moses interceded. When uh, Sodom and Gomorrah were about to be deleted, didn't Abraham intervene? When God wanted to delete Israelite after their disobedience, in the along the line, returning from Egypt, God told Moses, it's time to kill these people and delete them from history. He said, no, 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 my Lord. If you do that, People would say, you just brought these people out to kill them. And God relented. Intercessory power. Elijah prayed. Wow. Men of God prayed. Today I am being asked to pray. Every Tuesday I pray for people asking me, what a sin is there? Is that wow. intercessory rule has been there in wow. Wow. People have somebody seen you, you are very close to our community. Please pray for me. It's true. What are you saying? It's a common thing, it's a common thing, gentlemen. All right. Wow. We'll proceed. Well, thank you very much for this uh, wonderful teaching and uh, uh, lecturing. The knowledge is power. I'm seeing it. Uh, but before we proceed further, you know, you say something about rosary. Is there any? Can we see the, the, the rosary if necessary? Can we see how it looks like for you for those who are not uh, 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 familiar with it? Wow. Please, oh, before like, we... I mean, look at it. It's a yeah. rosary. If you don't know the rosary, I teach you. This is, I believe in God. This is our Father. This is three Hail Marys. This is the first mystery. This is our Father. This is ten Hail Mary. And this is mystery. This is our Father. Ten Hail Mary. Our Father. Ten Hail Mary. Our Father. Ten Hail Mary. Wow. I get it. Wow. Wow. So to get it, 15... First decade, five decades. Okay. 
10 decades. 15 decades, you get 150 Psalms of the Bible. It's a mystery. You see how the thing is connected. Look, I'm talking about it. <laughs> this pro. Okay, moment. Pro. Look at it. This one is, is different. To you can't find this thing in the whole Nigeria. Yes. Can show me who has it? Mbume. Okute. Petran. This is Petran. So, what I mean by this. See, do you know where I got this rosary? I was in Rome. From Rome, I traveled to Croatia. Croatia was almost a Russian country or part of it when disintegrated. If you get there, there was a great Marian shrine where people go for devotion and all that. I was there myself, live. We used flying boat to get to Croatia. If you did, war is, you know, every war was perforated by bullets. Yeah. And all were there. Do you know that was the, the testimony that as the war was going on, bomb was dropped in this within this Marian vicinity and it didn't explode. Google it. There was one big mountain we climbed and climbed and got to the the crucifix. There. It's a retreat center and a revival center. So this, uh, from there, I bought this rosary. Um, if things are tough, the tough gets going. Yeah. If I bring this stone, I will hit the devil on the head and we begin to bleed blood. See another secret. Yes. Well, uh, See another secret. The prof, thank you very much yeah. for this uh, exposition. Yeah. You, you are really exposing the secrets thank to you. us. Uh, Father, I, 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 if I heard you, when you we are speaking, you we are referring to this uh, uh, Virgin Mary as a mother of Christ, as a queen of heaven. Uh, when you are referring to her as a queen of heaven, what do you mean? Well, queen of heaven, as we know, is just nomenclature. Okay. Yeah. As you have different igwes. Igwe of this, Igwe of this, Igwe of Igwe, Igwe and Igwe. You see, it doesn't mean if you are uh, queen of the sea woman, our mother is a higher queen. After all, Jesus walked on the sea to clamp down every spirit under the sea. So if you go to Jeremiah, he will just tell you the queen of the sea, uh, which is um, the god of god, uh, the goddess of agriculture. But our mother came and superimposed that. Are you getting it? Yes. So that's what we are talking about. Names, it's just nomenclature. She so had to acquire those names. You see somebody this, like, okay, my name is, there are too many names. <laughs> say Reverend Father, Professor, Associate Professor, Paul Martin Obina, Obai, Father Okunere, PhD. I don't, <laughs> you see, I don't does it take care of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this uh, okay. uh, 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 in in collaboration with that, people do say that Catholics worship Virgin Mary. Many people had that concept before now. What is your stand, bro? Please. Let me tell you. In Saint Thomas Aquinas Summa Theologica, <laughs> his great book. Minor opus okay. of great St. Thomas. There he told us, if you were going some portions of ABC, there are three divisions of worship. One is dulia, second is hyperdulia, okay. third is lateria. Wow. Dulia is that given to saints and angels and all that. Hyperdulia belongs to Virgin Maria alone. And then Latria is to God, the Holy Trinity. So people misunderstand these applications and think that Dulia and Latria and the Hyper Dulia they are the same. No, 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 no. Mary is higher than all the angels, which we know. And God is higher than Mary. Jesus is higher than Mary. So we can't give Mary 
latria. We can't give them just hyperdulia. You can't give to man even dulia. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. So by that, you discover that our mother Mary deserves it. Look at the mother of governors. They don't talk to them anyhow. Otherwise, you go behind the back. Ah, but here you open your mouth and just talk anything. And God kept quiet. Remember what the reading is uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 10. And 2 Peter. You will see that don't open your mouth to abuse glorious beings. That are glorious beings. Father, thank you very much. I will stick up to you because you have a lot to deliver. Yeah, it's first Peter chapter 2, 10. Open it. It's that we don't open your mouth to abuse glorious beings. Look, some pastors. You say first Peter, first Peter chapter 2, verse 10. Okay, please can you read it? Let, let, let's hear from you. People are listening. Even if you want, I add more. Jude 8. Jude verse 8 to 9. Yes, Peter chapter 2, verse. Uh -huh. Verse. Uh, Mm -hmm. First Peter. First Peter chapter two verse reach. First Peter chapter two verse ten. Okay. At one time you were not God's people. But now you are his people. At one time you did not know God's mercy, but now you have received his mercy. Get Second Peter. Read that section. Read it. Second Peter chapter two. Yes. I read also that. Nine, start from nine, two. Second, and um, second well, Peter chapter two, verse nine. Yes. And so the Lord know, knows how to rescue godly people from their trials and how to keep the wicked under punishment for the day of judgment, especially those who follow their filthy, bodily lost, and despise those authority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Verse 10. Move, move. These false teachers are bold and arrogant and show no respect for the glorious beings above. Instead, they insult them. They insult them. Don't insult mother of God. That man is great. Wow. Second, Second Peter chapter 2, verse 10. verse 10. And also we have first Peter 2, Lana. So wow. this one straight. It. Then you go to Jude chapter 1, verse 8 to 9. You repeat, you see. Even Angel Michael did not abuse the devil. But you are busy the mother of God. But you don't know that she is your mother also. I will surprise you today. Very Mary is called Mother General. I will tell you how. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> mother General. Yes. Please explain well. Do you know? If if you want me to explain, explain further, I go go to um, Revelation 12, verse 17. You will see that she's mother general. What do I mean by that? If you are a pastor, a whatever you are, and you are carrying this Bible around, you are a mother, you are a child of Mary. If you obey the commandment of God and Jesus Christ's teachings, you are a child of Mary. Whether you like it or not, it's automatic, automatic conversion to being a child of Mary. Now, move down. Revelation 12, verse 7. Yeah. Then war broke out in heaven. Yes. Michael and his angels. I say 17. 17. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All those who. Is it? Wow. So as long as you are obedient to the teachings of
Go and abuse local government child mother. Go and abuse any senior citizen mother. Even my own mother, you can oh, abuse. Yeah. Won't you Don't you give a very deadly blow <laughs> to the person's teeth? So, that's what we're talking about. So, let us know that what this, the, the word we're defending is proper. That Jesus is, you see, you are the son and daughter of this woman whom you are busy without knowing. And you are offending God because he said in that second Peter chapter 2 10, he says, Don't abuse glorious beings in heaven. She's last day in heaven. She didn't commit any offense. So that you will say maybe she's not in heaven. If she's not in heaven, then all of us should be prepared to go to <laughs> whatever else. <laughs> wow. Mary was never a trouble woman or uh, like Prof, us. Thank you very much. Yes. We we can continue because we have a lot of questions to ask. But it's like you just summarized all that question. Yeah, because if you look at it, Luke chapter 1 verse 48, it says, All generations shall call me blessed. This is a prophetic statement. So if you are not calling her blessed, I'm sorry. You mean, even Muslims, they respect her very well. They call her Maria, Miriam. That's where the derivation Miriam came from. Every Muslim that answers Miriam means Maria, mother of Jesus Christ. No other Maria, any other place. And you are there talking, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, let me tell you one powerful statement. Say, I said, go anywhere. After you are saying the rosary, or because you say the rosary, and God condemned you to hell, be ready. I will come and replace you there. Okay, prof. <laughs> say, I said. Listen to what I, I repeat myself. If it is because of the fact that you say the rosary that led you to hell, I will come and replace you there. Let it just be sure that you didn't commit another sin. If you committed another, I have not. This is a very serious head. advice. But if it is just precisely for rosary, rejoice. I will take over. Like Colbert, who did that. I will do it for you in the hell. So don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Just a statement I put forward. You have, you have summarized it. <laughs> <laughs> because I've been waiting for. Next level to ask you the advice you give to the followers. That's you giving this uh, this year personal promise and quotation seems the confidence, the trust yes. you have there is in something, this woman. That is a problem now. Okay. Which you have not hit. What do you say about this image here? Don't you know it's a problem? Is to uh, some of our brothers yeah. and sisters. They are seeing it there. It's a problem already. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have you, you your explanation, uh, the thing has just I, I'm, I'm carried away. So, let me tell you about this. But about this, uh, uh, this image. They say we are worshipping, uh, we are adoring, uh, we are doing this. No, 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 no. It's a misconception. Let me clear you about that. Remember, in Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 down to 6, God said, Worship no other God but me. Make no images of anything on earth. Can you read that? Yeah. Start from, from verse 3. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Yeah. Down. Worship no God but me. Do not make for yourself images of anything in heaven and on earth, in the water, under the earth. Do not bow down to any idol or worship it, because I am the Lord your God, and I tolerate no rivals. Mm. I bring punishment on those who hate me and on descendants down to the third and fourth generations. Yes. But I show my love to thousands of generations of those who love me and obey my laws. As a now, very important key statement is that don't make any images on Yes. verse 18. Yes. What does it say? Make two winged creatures of hammered gold, one for each end of the lead. Make them so that they form one piece with the lead. Finish. Please, you say Exodus what? Exodus chapter 20 for 25, 25 verse 18. 18. Verse 18. Make something. Make two winged creatures. What are these two wings? Cherubim and Seraphim. Don't mind this name they put. Angels in heaven. 
the category very mighty and the no angel will stand there. They are the the commandant box. They struck him down. There's nobody to touch that. <laughs> they are alive. And God, who said, don't make any image of anything on, uh, in heaven. These two angels, are they in hell or, or earth? <laughs> Is it? People just take the Bible on the shallow level. They don't have the level. The Bible has a hermeneutics. Yes. Wow. Then, move again. Let me go to Numbers 21, verse 8. That one is an image in heaven. Okay. Does God contradict and say, don't make any image in heaven? Let us watch another one. Numbers 21, verse 8 to 9. Yes. Then the Lord told Moses to make a meta snake and put it on a pole so that anyone who was beaten could look at it and be healed. <laughs> so is is a snake in heaven or earth? And he oh. said, don't make anything like that. But he's now saying, make. It's people not understanding it. When the snake was biting the people of Israelites, they were dying. And through the intercession, God told him, okay, now, let me mess you because of your prayers, intercession. Go and make a snake, a fiery snake. Keep it on there. Anybody who sees it. Why say make again? When you say don't make, I think Moses would have stubbornly asked that question. That yes, question. My Lord, just to, uh, about five. Uh, listen, in Deuteronomy, you told us, don't make any. How are you telling me to make this and make this? This one is in heaven, this one on earth. Let me tell you, it's misconception. Go to, um, if you read wisdom, because many people don't believe in that, with the Deuterocanonical books in the, in the scripture, Deuterocanonical books, if you go to uh, wisdom 16, verse 5 to 7, it says, when we are looking, when these elders were looking at the cross, at the serpent, they were not concentrated on that. They were looking at the power behind that serpent. Okay. The power behind it. So you don't see this thing, I just uh, think that is a power behind it. And our mother who is in heaven, not this thing, uh, this is a common wood or cement and all that. So what God is stressing is let us not use them as our gods. I think, for instance, go to Exodus if you are there or Daniel. Yeah, I'm there in Exodus. Uh, okay, don't forget about Go to um, pick for me uh, Daniel 314. When you take it, I will show you another section, something like Exodus 32, verse 4. These two places will convince you what God is talking about. You need to listen to God in the spirit and know what he's saying, not just to shallowly in the Bible. Yeah, God, you carry again. Sound everywhere, shallowly. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So at this point, you can see we we uh, just uh, honor the Schumann. Yeah? Uh, Have you found it? Then it's a three verse fourteen. What does he say? Then it's three verse fourteen. Yeah. The Bible says He said to them, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abadnego. Is it true that you refuse to worship my God mm -hmm. and to bow down to the gold statue? I have set up now. Then, as soon as we hear the sound of the trumpets, of birds, lives, zetas, harps, and all the other instruments, bow down and worship the statue. If you do not, you will immediately be thrown into a point. And they said, wow. His Excellency, as he got in the wrong way, listen. If our God does not want to save us, we are not going to bow down and kneel to your God. Your God is not our God. And they defiantly deflated and flattened, flouted the order of the king. And what happened? What we are saying is that he said that statue is his God. Bow down to my God. Are you getting it? Is this our God? We are giving all not to honor his you. Maybe it's not our God. It's a misconception and misteaching. People just know in there. Okay, go to that Exodus 32, verse 4. And see, he said, Bow down to my God. Why is that my book? 
Yeah, in the one you gave. Yeah. Yes. Now, what you tell us more about the two? So, get it. Exodus 32. Yes. Verse. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. What verse does it say? He took the earrings, melted them, poured the gold into a mold, and made a golden, a gold bull calf. When Moses could not come down from the mountain, Aaron, who deputed for him, deputized, Ask the women, oh, yeah, bring your earrings and necklaces and bankless and let us make a golden calf. And they made a calf. What happened? Go ahead. What did he call it? The people say, Israel, this is our God who led us out of Egypt. This is, listen now. This is our God. You know, he had brought the image of God to a common calf, not even a big cow. He just transferred the glory of God to a, a calf. Have we said that our Mary is our, no. our God? Did we say the angels are our God? The, this images is just are helping us for devotion to bring our mind up to God. Through that, we start climbing to the Ad Deu. Are you getting it? Yeah. These two places we read now say, My God, this is our God. This is the difference. Yeah. So people fail to understand it. That's why I wrote a little book on this called Mariology. Just my own perspective. Okay. I didn't want to go far. If I need you more, if you read this little book, you stop all your quibbling about Maria. I call it Mariology. Maria. Ology. Study of Maria. Knowledge of Maria. Knowing about Maria. Rheology. So a lot, a lot is there. Yes. Even uh, Jesus Christ came down from heaven. The scripture says, if you go to the first John, say he came down with water and blood and spirit is witnessing to this. He didn't say he came down with flesh. If you go to John chapter one verse fourteen, say he took flesh. Whose flesh? Your own flesh. No. God is a spirit. He doesn't have flesh. So it's the flesh of Mary that. Someone, let me stop so far. That I have uh, a lot of this. Thank you, really thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Please, I've been looking in a way of stopping you. Because uh, so, you, you. I think my brothers are following, everybody is following to what I'm describing that we're not worshiping Mary. We're giving respect because it's worthy of that respect. You don't abuse your king, you don't abuse the, your mother, only your common mother. You can't say, get out. Okay, young man, come let us go and dine and wine. When your mother comes around, you slaps your mother, bah, get out, you are enveloped, you are empty gone. And, uh, and uh, Joe, come, let's go and eat. Will you be happy? No, no, no. That's what some people do to our mother. Now, I am of a son. We are honoring Mary. We are honoring. We are honoring Mary, never worshiping. People say we worship her, not at all. Everybody join the chorus, honor oh, her, honor oh, Mary. We are honoring Mary. We are honoring. Hey, we are honoring Mary. Never worshiping. Mm -hmm. People say we worship her, not at all. Everybody join the chorus, honor, honor, Mary. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Uh, yeah. Please, uh, because of time factor, uh, we may continue any other day yes. based on the people's uh, comments after yeah. now. But uh, I wouldn't like to leave here having this book alone. I want you to tell us on how to get this book for those who want to know more. Because this um, book, uh, uh, biology, yeah. uh, you I, know, I must finish it and know what it is. <laughs> if you open it, you will see a lot. In chapter 1, I say the Mariology, who is Maria, who is Virgin Mary. Chapter 2, I say Mary ever virgin. How? The brothers and sisters of Jesus. Who are they? You see, that's another coinage that caused trouble. That Mary is not ever virgin. You go to chapter 4, chapter 3, you see the four dog dogmas of the Mary on Mary. Chapter uh, uh, 3 and 4, you say, Mediatrix of all graces. You also, chapter 5, how Catholics can understand Mary as good redemptrix. Chapter 6, you say, where is the head Mary in the Bible? Chapter 7, you see, Mary suffered aridity. 
Mary's type and grade of prayer, intercessory role, model of Mary. Saint Gertrude testified about Mary, intercessory role of Mary. You see, Mary's type of prayer. I talked about prayer last week. Yes. Mary is that woman that he has meditative power of prayer. And this rosary is meditative when we are praying or think about it. We also have there, God himself was the first to say the rosary. Nine, similarity and disparity between Zechariah and Mary's uh, response. You see, we also have uh, Mary believe in God's message. And so many, uh, and so many there. And so many there. So it's a little booklet. I, I don't call it book. I just call it, um, it's a booklet. Booklet, not a book full book like that. You understand? I just, it's my memoir. When I'm thinking and thinking about it, I just put it into a little for reflection for people who are interested. It's not, it's not a, a universal yeah. completion. This, this is mine, Father. <laughs> <laughs> you have given this one. So I believe uh, people can get it online. Sure, of course. Uh, maybe uh, the we'll link. link it on. Uh, please, you can give us the link online yeah. so that people will lay hand on this uh, pamphlet or yes. booklet, as you said, because I see it's very powerful, it's Robert Mighty. Thank you, Reverend Father Associate Professor Martin Obina. Thank you. My, thank you, the, the Director of Okunere Adoration Ministry. It's a pleasure having you. Next week, we are going to we are gonna stay, talk more in case people raise up questions here and there. We are waiting for the well, comments. Yeah, but when people drop their comments, if they yes, have any questions, if they have questions, if they have any confusion, people will still drop on. That will lead us back thank you to you. Much. Thank you for the opportunity. So see you tomorrow evening, 6.30. I will celebrate the Mass for you. You are watching me. You are a child of Mary. Don't doubt it. You are a child of Mary. You know that. You are a child of Mary. And as a child of Mary, you can understand that you are blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Amen. Amen. Bless us, bless us, bless us, bless us, bless us, Abek. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father. Thank you, yeah. Father. Yeah. Bless us, please. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Mighty God, the King of kings and Lord of lords, Eshadah is your name. We call you various names because you want it. And it is just a nomenclature doziology. You know, we call you names. So we call you matter. And representing various things for us. So just like anybody who does anything, begin to acquire different names. So we use it to acknowledge, to appreciate your divine. Thank you for giving us your mother. Thank you for everything. Thank you for including us as cool sons of this woman. I pray that our brothers and sisters all over the world, those who know the secret, the truth, will appreciate this nice um, reflection. Next time, we are ready to do more and navigate more to the glory of God and salvation of souls. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit.